Do you know guys, creating this design is very easy. You need to use only three modifiers. So without further ado, let's get started. To create this design, you need to add first plane. So shift A add plane, then scale it down along the X axis, as like this. Then go to the edit mode, select the words and move them along the X axis in this way. Then you need to add center loop cuts along the X axis and Y axis. After that select the X axis loop cut and add a bevel on it. Add two segment bevel at there. Then one more time select this H loop and add one more bevel. Now you need to add two loop cuts at there. Then select these faces and then delete them. After that select these words and use the H slide at there. And same thing at the bottom side also. Then you need to add few more loop cuts on the model to maintain the good form and good topology. Then you need to select everything and then E to extrude it and extrude it along the Z axis in this way to add a thickness. Then select this edge loop and then control B add bevel on them. Add one segment bevel add there in this way to get that taffer form. Then you can select these faces and then delete them. Then select these faces and then delete them. Then you need to select these edge loops. Then go to the object mode, control A apply the scale and then go to the edit mode, control B and add a bevel on it. Then you can select these edge loops and you can add small bevel at there. Okay, now you need to add array modifier. So just add the array modifier and then adjust the factor along the X axis to join them together. And here you need to increase the factor in a small amount so you can get the proper factor to join them and turn on that merging option and then increase the array count up to 4. Then you need to add one empty. After that you need to add simple deform modifier on the mesh. Then select bend option and Z axis. In the origin option you need to choose that empty. After that you need to rotate this object along the Y axis. And then you need to increase the bending angle at there. Take this 360 degree angle. Here you can see we are getting that gap, so that's why we need to increase the bending angle. So just give the value 400 and we need to increase the angle a little bit more to join both the end together. So just adjust that angle at there and 405 is okay I think. Yeah. After that you need to add one more array modifier, then give the factor 1 along this z axis. And then increase the array count up to 4, 5, 6, 7, whatever. After that you need to add one more simple deform modifier. And then choose the bend angle. And then empty and along the y axis or x axis. You can take any axis at there. Then here you need to give the bending angle 360 degree. So you can join both the end. And just adjust the angle little bit. Yeah, here you will get right 360 degree angle. After that. You can adjust the array count of that mesh so you can get a repeated pattern in n numbers. Now you can see we got that decent looking form design. So make a backup and then apply this array modifier first. Then simple deform modifier, then array modifier and then simple deform modifier. Apply all these modifiers. And now you can see. Uh, then select everything and press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. And here you can see we are facing a little bit of difficulty. So that's why we need to dissolve these edges. So just select these edge loops and then dissolve them. We will add those edge loops later on after adding, after merging the words properly. Now you can select everything and then press M and merge by distance. So you can merge the double words. Then you need to add sub D modifier. And you can see we are getting decent look. Then increase the sub D count up to 2. Then you need to select these edge loops and then control B add bevel on them. And give the right bevel width. Now you can see we are getting decent look for the design. And you can see the topology of the model. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial then please hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So next video. Take care.